broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTL Editorial News for August 11, 2009. This is in honor of my technical manager, Miguel Estacio, who last Saturday his wife gave birth to a baby boy. His name is Jeremiah. That means a name of God. I congratulate them on the birth of Jeremiah last Saturday morning. And now the headlines. Sukai house got extended more months for house arrest. And why is that? Well, the next story will tell you why. Because the U.S. man, I guess he was from Bangkok, his name is John William Yetta. Here he is making, saying that he was sent on a mission by God to come over there and save Sukai. Knowing that he had, he's had asthma and he's borderline diabetic. Here he is, he swimmed over there, and then in May, they're talking about that news story of him swimming over there in May, only to fall in the backyard of her house, only for her helpers to bring him in, and she said, you had to get out. I can't make it. I, I was sent by God to save you. And then she uh, let him stay there for that night, only for it, uh, the illness to extend, and uh, he stayed two more nights. And so you know how people be talking, and uh, some of the soldiers from uh, Burma saying, "Here she is. She got a man in the house. What this man doing in the house?" That man need to go. Well, they called the police. And here they are. Took her to trial. She broke violation. So her house arrest is suspended. Thank you, John Will Yetta. You made a mockery not only of yourself, you embarrassed yourself and God. You made a mockery out of him. Saying, I came on a mission for God. To fall in a house with cramps because of your borderline diabetes and your asthma, can't hardly breathe, and, uh, and you cannot get out of her house. And then, of course, when you're borderline diabetic, that means you are hungry. You're going to need something to eat. So what are you going to be doing? Uh, go play in the role of Elijah saying, if you can give me a morsel of um, cake, and uh, I can uh, give you more cake. Yeah, I'm hungry. She whiz, you embarrassment. Right now he's in confinement at a hospital. They watching over him. See if he uh, can get his morsel of cake or whatever for that embarrassment. Oh Lord, forgive us, forgive us, oh, forgive him for using you as a mockery. But that outrage spread out to the next article of Hillary Clinton. She's gone off. She was in Democratic Republic of Congo, and she, she had, a, a, had her two cents in it about Su Kai said she shouldn't be on house arrest. She should be released right now. Telling the uh, Burma government, you know how it is. It's hard to get them um, doing things. Especially last year with that uh, monsoon and that's, uh, the rain and there's a lot of people died. They was telling them about getting the people in safer uh, havens, and here they are, all dead, and thousands of people laid out. <sighs> no wonder nobody don't want to go there. These these composed bodies around. 
government don't care, heartless. But anyway, Hillary went off when uh, the question was asked of uh, Obama. Did Obama uh, ask ask her to come over there? They thought she thought uh, somebody was saying Bill Clinton, and she said, "Well." Bill Clinton is not the Secretary of State. She went off like a sister. Wait just a minute. Let me tell you something. I wear the pants. Bill is lucky to wear pants. He couldn't even hold office. Not knowing that he had two terms and he couldn't even hold on to a pen to write the uh, law. Or sign the law, that is without dropping it and having Monica to pick it, pick up the pen from underneath his desk. I had to slap that joker, that cheating. But anyway, she thought it was Bill Clinton. She went off only to find out that the guy said uh, Obama. And, when, and then she really went off. Say, Obama, he couldn't... Get, Handle Jeremiah White. He, that's his pastor. He can't even handle him. What are he doing? But anyway, Obama is in uh, the U.S. in New Hampshire pitching on the U.S. health care to the people. Maybe he's hearing the sound of cricket. Creek, 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 creek. See, the people of New Hampshire is ready for that NAFTA to keep going so they could go across the border to Canada on the weekends and get them supply of medication, medicine, antibiotics that the United States can't give them because it costs too much. And they could go over the border, save their money, hey, get their medicine, they'd be feeling much better. And so when uh, the people see them or their neighbors say, hey, I'm feeling fine in New Hampshire, I'm feeling fine. Uh, did you um, tend to your doctor in the United States? Oh no, I just went across the border, the Canadian border that is, and got me some good medicine. But anyway, continuing on, does, uh, the U.S. intelligence found out that Batula Masha was confirmed dead. They said a CIA drone I mean, the missile from the drone killed him. And now my message is, send in the drones, send in the drones over the Middle East. Take care of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and if Iraq start acting up with the insurgent, take care of them. And then let me close out with uh, prayer for this uh, Palestinian family who was just evicted last Sunday by Israel and their government. I guess they were saying uh, you was six months late on your rent like they do in the United States. No, it was just a court order that had them move. I don't know why, you know, because uh, it doesn't cost too much and then you're going to kick them out. That's a sin and a shame. Jesus wouldn't do that. Jesus would keep them there. Maybe they need to follow what Jesus is doing. But anyway, LTL Editorial News for August 11, 2009. Sony!